Did you know that there's a mushroom that grows naturally in the wild that if you were to consume it, would actually give you the sensation of being full for the rest of your life? Welcome back to Jeeping for Beginners, folks. Once again, my name is Josh. And no, we are not going to be talking about poisonous mushrooms today. Um, in fact, we're going to be talking about Jeeps. Well, obviously, because that's pretty much the purpose of this channel, right? So we're going to be talking about some accessories and uh, some really cool updates today. Um, for those of you who have been paying attention for this entire year of 2024, we have an absolutely epic overland adventure that is coming up here in just a couple of weeks and we are on the final leg of getting everything prepared and ready to go for that adventure so there were a couple of things that i still needed yet on the jeep in order to make this i think completely seamless um or at least that's the hope so today we're going to talk about some final touches and some really cool items guys i promise you you're going to want to stick around for this. Oh, what a beautiful spot. Oh, hi, guys. And once again, welcome back to the channel. Listen, um, as we get things prepped and ready to go for this amazing adventure that we are taking here in just a couple of weeks, I just wanted to catch up on a couple of details. For those of you who haven't seen the videos and haven't been keeping up, here's what's going on. For the last year and a half, Jeeping for Beginners has been hosting um, overland adventures, basically crossing the entire continental divide here in the United States, from the Mexico border all the way north to the Canadian border. Well, this fall, we are actually completing one of the most epic overland adventures that we have ever started um, from about the Wyoming side of the Colorado line up through the mountains of Idaho and Montana up to the Canadian border. So we're really excited about this trip. We've never been up there. We have no idea what to expect. So. The prep work has been in an effort to try to make sure that we have as little problems as possible. So there hasn't been a whole lot that I've thrown at my Jeep that it hasn't been able to conquer, but there have been a couple of things that we found out just this year that would be nice to make some adjustments. For those of you who saw the video, uh, a couple of months ago, we had an opportunity, thanks to the generosity of Lauren Walker down at x Grid Campers, to pull an overland trailer with the Jeep. Now. For those of you who have ever pulled a trailer with the Jeep, it doesn't matter if it's an overland trailer or a cargo trailer or a boat, doesn't matter. You know that the mirrors and the rear visibility is extremely difficult. So one of the things that I had to look for and I was doing a little bit of research on was to see if I could find some form of mirror extensions that would not make the Jeep look ugly, um, but would do the trick and be able to help me see around the trailer while I'm pulling it. So that being said, throughout my research, there was a company in Chicago called Boost Auto that actually reached out to me and they said, hey, Josh, listen, um, we see that you've got this epic trip coming up and that you're looking at pulling a trailer in order to do it. So why not test out our brand new trail mirrors that we've designed for the Jeep Wrangler and the Jeep Gladiator and tell us what you think. <laughs> Guys, I got to tell you, these are the coolest things in the world. Let me show you why. So the biggest selling feature on these for me was the fact that we had your standard mirror and we've got your blind spot or otherwise known as tow mirrors that can be adjusted separately. So they promised me that I can still maintain my factory features. So the uh, main mirror is still power operated because my mirrors are power and it's still heated because I had heated mirrors. So those were my factory options. This one is manually adjustable, but that's okay because once you get it set in place, it's pretty much good to go from there on out. The visibility on these mirrors so far is absolutely incredible. I swear, I bet you I've gained triple the visibility as far as what's going on behind me. So here, let me show you this. Oh look, we got a decal, and a duck, and a koozie, and business cards, all the wiring harnesses, wow look at 
Look at that. Massive and beautiful. Are you excited? Yeah. Look at the size difference. This thing is massive. It's 2024, okay? Most of our modern cars that are coming out have all these really cool LED accessories and, and technology packed into every little corner of the car. Well, my Jeep is a 2016. Unfortunately, we didn't, manufacturers didn't play with them like that back then. But that doesn't mean that we still can't have those same really cool features. So what I really liked about choosing the options on this mirror is I do get daytime running lights. Now this actually makes a huge difference, especially at night to make this Jeep just stand tall and look amazing. The other thing is, is that these four little lights right here are actually off-road lights controlled by a switch so that I could actually see a little bit further down the trail. And because the mirror itself is angled off to the right, these shoot off to the right. The one on the other side shoots off to the left. And it helps to definitely broaden the view that I have at night, which is really, really cool. But the other really cool part is that in addition to the daytime running light, these are blinkers, but not just blinkers, guys. They're sequential blinkers, okay? Now, I don't know about you, but this kind of really tickles me, and I really love it because it draws your attention as the other driver down the road to what's going on with this mirror. So frankly, between my headlights blinking, my blinkers blinking, and these blinking, truth is, there's no way in hell if you're facing me that you don't know that I'm turning. And I love it. I absolutely love it. Um, so I'm going to show you that feature as well. But that's not all. There's still one more really cool feature built into this. You guys want to see it? All right. So the last really cool feature is this right here. These are built-in reverse lights. And I can't tell you how handy that's come in just in the last few days, backing into a parking spot at night and actually being able to see clearly the vehicles that are beside me. So I say kudos, that is such an awesome feature built into these mirrors. So like I said, guys, these are just the finishing touches that I'm doing to try to make things a little easier on this trip so I could be more focused on the actual adventure itself. Now, I did not make an actual install video for these particular mirrors. There's two reasons why I did this. One, this is not a amateur or novice task. This actually takes um, a, a long time. It actually took me two days to get these things installed properly. It comes with multiple different wiring harnesses and you've really got to think about what you're doing and where you're putting it uh, before you actually um, start cutting and splicing wires. But the second reason that I did not do an actual install video on these is because Boost Auto themselves actually has an incredible step-by-step -step detailed install video for their mirrors already. Honestly, there was no way that I could beat what they had done. So if you actually want to see what it's going to take to install these yourself, I will put a link down in the description below of the install video so that you can actually take a look and see it's not complicated, but it is going to be time consuming to be able to run your wires. I have wiring harnesses run off of this down through the dash to the other side, through the firewall and spidered to four different places up under the hood on this side, four different places up under the hood on the other side, as well as attaching to the main wiring harness under the driver's seat in order to get power to the reverse lights. So if it's something that you want to do, take your time. It's totally worth it because these are actually really, really cool. All right, guys. Now, I want you to understand this is a sponsored video. They sent me these mirrors in order to test them out and to see if I really like them, which I'm going to put them to the test for sure, 100% on our trip. But that doesn't mean that it's skewing my opinion. I will tell you straight up if something doesn't work or I don't like it. But these, these are actually really cool for what they are. So I am going to put a link 
down in the description below this video as well that'll take you directly to their website so that you can check these out for yourself. Now, here's the really cool part, okay? And this is something that definitely intrigues me, which I know for a lot of my viewers, this is going to intrigue you as well. These are not Chinese. This is not being shipped from overseas. Boost Auto is out of Chicago, Illinois. These are American made right here in this country. In fact, when you go onto the website and you take a look at these mirrors, there's all kinds of different options. You don't have to have white daytime running lights. You can have amber ones. Hell, you don't have to have daytime running lights at all. You could have regular blinkers, sequential blinkers. You don't have to have the off-road lights. You don't have to have the heated mirrors. There's all kinds of different options and configurations on the way that you can set these up to suit how you want them. And the best part is, is they're not sitting on a shelf ready to go. Once you place your order and say, this is a configuration that I want for my uh, Jeep Wrangler or my Jeep Gladiator, they build them to suit before they ship them out to you right here in the USA. So that is a big reason, number two, why I'm a big advocate for this particular product. All right, guys, I hope you enjoyed the features of these mirrors. I really do. And I've, all the accessories that I have hung here on the Black Pearl, these are quickly rising to the top as one of my favorites. So anxious to see how much of a difference that they make. As I mentioned before, uh, Lauren Walker from x -Grid Campers here in Las Vegas, Nevada, who generously gave us the opportunity to pull an Overland trailer um, so that I could see, obviously, that the Jeep can do it. I'm sure a lot of you saw that video. It was actually an incredible experience. But that being said, they have agreed to be a major sponsor for our trip across the mountains in Wyoming, Idaho, and Montana. And they are generously giving us not one, but two of their most iconic and brand new Overland trailers so that we can test them out and use them while we're up in the mountains. So we're totally stoked and excited about that. In addition, folks, there's one thing that I want to mention for those of you who are getting excited for this video, which is obviously still a couple months away. Um, I have also secured a film and production crew to follow us around for this particular journey so that nothing will get missed. So guys, this is going to be probably the most epic, well-made, and exciting adventure that Jeeping for Beginners has ever done and posted on YouTube. So be sure to stick around for that. I don't know about you, but I cannot wait. It's just a few short weeks away before we hit the trails. I cannot wait. All right, guys. So in the meantime, thank you so much for tuning in. Please put your comments, concerns, or any questions down below this video in the comments section. I would love to hear your opinion about these mirrors and about their functionality. And if you have a set yourself, let me know if you like them, because I'm telling you, I really like these things myself. So I'm anxious to read those comments. I'm anxious to answer any questions that you may have. Um, in the meantime, folks, I am going to take off for right now. We probably only have one or two more videos left before we actually hit the trail up in Idaho. Um, I will post some pictures and stuff uh, while we're up there, but that video is going to take me some time to make, so please be patient as far as that's concerned. Um, so in the meantime, stay safe. Happy Jeeping. Oh, and if it were me, I would not eat any random mushrooms that are growing on the side of the trail. I don't care if they do make you full for the rest of your life. So stay safe, happy jeeping, and we will see you next time.